Ever heard of an earth scraper? Earth scrapers are buildings that don't soar into the sky but plunge deep into the ground. Earth scrapers are turning urban architecture on its head quite literally. Think about how crowded cities are getting. Earth scrapers could be the answer to our several urban space problems. But what exactly are they? How do they work? And why are they becoming such a hot topic? Stick around to find out how engineers in Mexico are exploring this revolutionary concept and might change the way we live in cities forever. A group of Mexican engineers came up with a solution to urban overcrowding that's truly groundbreaking. Or are we allowed to say groundbreaking? Imagine a massive structure that starts at ground level and plunges 65 stories deep into the earth. That's the scale of the proposed earth scraper in Mexico City's Zocalo. In this video, we deep dive into this project to understand where the idea of an earth scraper comes from, why they believe in it in Mexico, and how you actually build an earth scraper. Mexico City's Zocalo, with its rich history and bustling activity, presents a perfect backdrop for this revolutionary idea. The contrast between the historic surface and the futuristic underground structure is striking, showcasing how earth scrapers could preserve our heritage while paving the way for progress. Let's explore the exciting world of earth scrapers, where going down is the new up. The History and Anatomy of an Earth Scraper Designs for inverted skyscrapers have been around since the 1930s, when Japanese engineers designed what they named a depth scraper. The design is composed of a cylindrical anti-tower, meaning it's a massive hole in the ground with space to live located all around it. Its creation was in response to a massive earthquake in 1923 that destroyed parts of Tokyo and Yokohama and took thousands of lives. The engineers thought the depth scraper could protect its residents from extreme seismic tremors. Their theory was that if the building's components were underground, the structures would vibrate together, keeping the building from experiencing crushing strain and significant damage. The design shows a 35-story subterranean structure with a single story above the earth where people could enter the building and hop on an elevator to take them down to their floor. Fresh air would be pumped into the building and circulated via ventilators located in each apartment. As for daylight, this huge mirror angled into the 75 feet wide shaft would distribute the sun's light through the buildings. Windows with prismatic glass would be installed to distribute the light evenly throughout the units. Mexico City Zocalo, a vibrant plaza steeped in Aztec and colonial history, could soon be more than meets the eye. Beneath the surface of this bustling square, plans for a 65-story earth scraper promise to redefine urban architecture. Imagine standing on a glass floor, watching people go about their day 65 floors below you. That's roughly 720 feet deep, or the height of a 65-story skyscraper turned upside down. The anatomy of quite simple. At its core is a central void, a massive hole covered by a glazed roof that doubles as the ground level floor. This isn't just for show. It's the earth scraper's lifeline, allowing natural light and fresh air to penetrate the depths of the structure. It's like giving the earth a skylight. But how do you keep an underground structure from feeling like, well, a cave? The answer lies in the design. The central void concept creates a vast internal space, something like a hollowed out pyramid. This design ensures that even the deepest levels receive natural light and ventilation, making the underground environment feel surprisingly open and airy. One of the most ingenious aspects of earth scrapers is how they maintain surface level activities. The glass floor covering the central void isn't just for gawking tourists. It's a functional space that can host various events and daily activities. The proposed Mexico City Earth Scraper is a prime example of this concept in action. Designed to address the city's strict height regulations and high demand for centrally located property, it offers a solution that's both innovative and respectful of the existing urban landscape. It's a way of saying, if we can't build up, we'll build down. Engineering Marvels and Hurdles. Before we plunge into the technical details, let's at the landscape above Mexico City's proposed earth scraper. 
The Zocalo, one of the largest city squares in the world, buzzes with life and history. Aztec ruins, colonial era buildings, and modern structures stand side by side, creating a tapestry of Mexican culture. Now let's dig into the engineering challenges. First up, keeping the earth from caving in on your new underground home. It's like playing the world's biggest game of Jenga, but with 65 stories of concrete and steel. But structural integrity is just the tip of the iceberg. Providing fresh air and sunlight to the lower levels is crucial unless we want to create a city of cave-dwelling mole people. The solution? A central void covered by a glazed roof, acting like a giant skylight for the underground world. It's like giving the earth its own sunroof. And let's not forget about safety. In case of emergency, you don't want to be stuck 720 feet underground playing Find the Exit. That's why designs include multiple emergency staircases and elevators, ensuring a quick escape to the surface. The hidden benefits of going underground. Feeling a bit skeptical about living underground? You might be surprised by the hidden benefits of these subterranean structures. Let's explore how earth scrapers could revolutionize urban living while preserving our precious surface space. Earth scrapers aren't just about saving space, they're pocket-sized eco-warriors. By going underground, these inverted skyscrapers could help combat urban sprawl, which is currently gobbling up farmland at a rate of 1.2 million acres per year. That's like losing a small country's worth of crops annually. But the benefits don't stop there. These underground structures offer a unique form of disaster protection. It theorized that underground buildings would vibrate together during earthquakes, minimizing damage. Energy efficiency is another big plus at the Earth Scraper. Underground temperatures remain stable between 20 degrees and 38 degrees Celsius. That's between 70 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, reducing the need for heating and cooling. The future beneath our feet. Feeling a bit impatient about when you'll be able to live in an underground skyscraper? Well, you might need to wait a while longer. Experts predict widespread implementation of earth scrapers could begin around 2050. But fear not, fellow subterranean enthusiasts. There are already a lot of things happening underground. Check out the video we created about the top 16 biggest metro networks underground. Did you know the first metro was built in London and the largest network is more than 700 kilometers or 430 miles long? Or would you rather check out how Los Angeles' blue line transformed America's most beautiful city? Click here to see why it took almost 100 years before this line was finally built.